we have some rules of course if triangles are not right angled so the first one we look at is the uh, the sine rule just to create the sine rule what we do is we drop a perpendicular down from one of the vertices to create two right angled triangles and then we can say well we know that h over c in the left hand side triangle would be the sine of b so h is c sine b but if we look at the right hand triangle then h over b would be the sine of c so the h's must be the same h so therefore c sine b equals b sine c and then we can rearrange that into the format that we're used to seeing c over sine c is equal to b over sine b and of course had i chosen a different vertex to do the same thing with i could show it's also equal to a over sine a so the sine rule a over sine a b over sine b c over sine c basically the ratio of any side to the sine of the angle opposite that side will always be the same that's essentially what it's saying let's just a quick little example in this case we want to find a side so h over sine h would be q over sine q it's really just a substitution question when you think about it so subbing in multiply by the sine of 5746 and uh, punch the buttons on our calculator and we get well i've done mine to one decimal place so 45.8 units so that's finding a side finding an angle all we really do is we turn the sine rule upside down and so for this one if i want to find y i'll go sine y over y is sine z over z substitute in the given information again multiply by the denominator to get rid of that so 12.36 times the sine of 10632 divide that by 16.21 of course the mistake that's made here is to just find that answer but not find y remember it's y you're looking for so when you punch the buttons in your calculator you don't get 46 degrees 58 until you go inverse sine of that calculation be careful with the sine rule does the answer make sense so interpret the question because the thing with your calculator it only answers acute angles or negative acute angles if the angle turns out to be obtuse the calculator won't pick that up so you've got to check things like uh, oh well i know the angle sum of a triangle is 180 so could this possibly be an obtuse angle um, other thing to keep in mind i always know that the biggest side will always be opposite the biggest angle the smaller side will be opposite the smallest angle and so that's another way we can check to see could this be an obtuse angle and now to let you in a little secret the actual sine rule i don't know whether you knew this or not any triangle of course you can draw a circle around we call that the circumcircle the sine rule is actually equal to the diameter of that circle so that ratio of a over sine a or b over sine b will also equal the diameter of any circle you draw around the triangle i don't think i bothered proving that uh, but you, i mean you can use uh, some circle geometry to prove that if you wanted to area of a triangle well of course we know it's half base times height uh, but sometimes we don't have that information again I'll, I'll drop a perpendicular so we can create this new formula now i know the area would be half base times height in this case half of a times h remember we said h was b sine c so if i sub that in there's our formula half a b sine c so the product of any two sides halve that and multiply it by the sine of the included angle between the two sides so it could be half a b sine c but it could be half b c sine a it could be half a c sine b so let's do a quick example of that we have two sides and the included angle so it should work in our case it'll be a half dm sine f but subbing in and uh, there you go a bit of calculator work 25.47 units squared okay so 6i is on our sine rule but also the area of a triangle as, as well right.